Hi, I'm David Austin, a member of the Communications Subcommittee for the Bartlesville Public School District. And I'm here with Granger Metter, who's a physics teacher here at Bartlesville High School and has been for the last 27 years. We're here to talk a little bit about the uh, school bond issue proposal, which is going to go before voters on Tuesday, August 23rd. And one component of that school bond issue proposal is the evolution from traditional textbooks, right here, uh, to more of a computer-based textbook. So tell me a little bit about that facet of this school bond issue proposal. Sure. We're looking at this in the bond for the first place because the state has actually cut all funding for textbooks. So it's up to local voters to provide textbooks. So if we're going to do it on our own buck, we ought to make it something that's worthwhile. Yeah. So we can get these traditional textbooks like this. They're pretty expensive anymore. And this is what I use in my physics class. And of course, it's what every textbook we know looks like. It's got yeah. some diagrams, some text. You learn from it as best you can. But what can we do with modern technology? So part of the bond is to think about switching to Chromebooks. Okay. These are kind of like cheap computers that a student can actually use at home and at school, in secondary school. They cost about the same as two traditional textbooks. See, which is hard to believe. It's hard to believe. It. Yeah, that yeah. is hard to believe. So much more capabilities yeah. than those will ever have. Absolutely. Because this, you know, it's like a computer. You can get on the internet. You can do all these things. But what about, what's your textbook like now? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're using this, instead of a backpack filled with textbooks, you've got this. Well, here's what the traditional textbook looks like on a physics lesson on two cars hitting each other. Here's the same thing on the computer. Okay, that's nice, it's yeah. more convenient, but can't it go further? Of course it can. The teacher can have actual lessons that are tied into this topic that go far beyond any text. So here, on this two-card dimension problem, we can actually see a simulation. And we can see the cars here. We can put in parameters through this guided study and then simulate in live action what's going on. Yeah, see, that's great. Yeah, that, that is an evolution, again, from this traditional textbook to that. And right. it's taken learning, I would think, to the next level, right. two or three. As a teacher, I've been here 27 years. I need something that motivates kids in the modern world, something that engages them. They have things on their phones that are far beyond this textbook. So I need it here for them that's yeah. a learning device. And at the same time, I want to take them a whole other level of thinking that we just haven't reached before. Yeah. Well, this looks like it'll do it. I think so. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks again for the insight. Absolutely. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And again, please remember to vote. School bond issue proposal, Tuesday, August 23rd. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you.